don't tell me and do it. Oh. Ooh, welcome back. Buddy couldn't even wait for me to get back from the truck. First calf. Jeez. Well, as you can see, we've made it to our destination. We're up here in St. Cloud. We're going to be floating down the Mississippi River. Apparently the fish are biting, but he already caught a pike. This is a pretty cool uh, little float we'd like to do every year. Um, a lot of smallmouth down this stretch, and it's like a 10-mile run. You can go down and catch a whole bunch of smallies. So there's uh, some really nice smallies in here, and there's a bunch of dinks. So it just kind of depends on the time of year you come. But it's middle of summer. We're going to be throwing a whole bunch of stuff. So let's get in the boat and get into it. All right. Dude, this thing is light. Nice and light. Ah, all right. Well, I got all my gear. My cooler, drinks, a bunch of tackle, some popcorn. And uh, I'll show you uh, what I got rigged up as well. All right. Well, we're getting all rigged up. Got a little mixed bag box here. Some hair. Some Sankos work really well here. Square bills are fire. Bass jigs work pretty well as well. Um, and I got a bunch of swim baits and whatnot, but this is going to be the starting lineup. Um, this is the Northland's new eye candy plastic. I've been waiting for these things to come out for a while, so I can't wait to try these things out. They are fully a Laztec, so you can actually catch a lot of fish on them. Ned rig, a little wacky weightless. These clap out here. I'm going to try throwing a spinner bait. I haven't tried throwing a spinner bait, but I know people catch them on uh, buzz baits and like beetle spins. And then a square bill. This is probably one of the best baits on the river, in my opinion, is like a crawdad square bill and a Senko if you have uh, two baits you want to throw. So, we're with Brock, the man, the myth, the legend. Met him out on a little local lake. Can't tell you what lake it is, it's a secret, but let's get right into it. I think I'm going to throw, let's we'll start with the spinner bait, just because why not? I feel like this place gets hit pretty hard by uh, the locals, but you know. We're gonna send it. I don't see any All right, so we got a little predicament. We haven't made it very far, but the river is super low. Pretty much looks like any way we, which way we go, we got rapids. So we're gonna put the rods down and we are gonna play. I hope we just end up over there in that pool. Oh, it's plenty deep in here. I'm gonna put this down, I think. Yeah, you're good. It's like that fucking boulder. Yeah, there's that. Oh, go! <laughs> Yeah, I think we are good. I think it's just where the current... That one? Nice. Should have spot lock in here. All right. Might have to put it down, but... That's a nice one. Get a bolt with it. Ah. All right. Get ready to pull that trolling water, too. It's shallow. It's shallow. Oh, you're good. Go this way. Go this way. Well, we're having lots of uh, shallow water. First smallie. Good job, buddy. Want a picture or anything? All right, well, the GoPro decided to uh, die, but I caught my first one on a little square bill. Little guy. All right, well, fishing's been pretty slow. Now we're just eating some strawberries. We just went through some really shallow stuff. We had to get out. But just around the corner down here, there's a nice little deep spot I know of. So, hopefully we can pull a few off of that. Stay tuned. Yeah. 
down. Yeah. This will caught a lot on square bills up by the dam. Ooh, that looks decent. Eh, it's not giant. Alright, buddy, you're getting gold flipped. Alright, that one was on a jerk bait. So we discovered that the water is definitely a little darker this year. And I think that's why we weren't getting bit on what we were throwing. And I decided to put on a really bright silver. Not a bad one on a giant. Pretty average for this river. A lot of there's some smaller ones too, but there's some tanks in here, you just gotta find them. Yeah, just slowly drift down or just drift it like nothing. I guess you haven't uh, gone to Mille Lacs then. I have, but I've never used Molly fish for very long. Molly. There's one. Alright, maybe we can spot lock. Double. Alright. Well, that was four fish we just uh, potentially hooked. All right, you can spot locker now. Ooh, hey, that's good. That's what you want. <laughs> All right, little guy. Get this uh, out of the hand. Sweatshirt. Stubby. This one looks like a rock bass. Yeah. It's a hybrid. So. Yeah, I think it's just eight pound. We'll, uh, we'll let that rip. I have a bunch of eight pounds. But, line, but we are throwing the old trika rod today. If you guys haven't uh, checked it out yet, I've been running these things for probably, ooh, I don't even know, probably three, four months now, three months, and they've been doing work. So they're super lightweight all carbon fiber so if you're looking to get a uh, nice little rod i'll put a little link in the description below you guys can check them out pretty affordable too compared to uh you know some really high end st croix where these will be even lighter and just as sensitive so let's get back to it probably could uh take a picture to the smallmouth too but you know Or have them in the boat into that big ass rock. Ooh, pike. Pike northern. Little pike ski. So you're at. Uh, Dangerous. You just lost a point. Dude, these are plus 10. Plus 10? Oh, yeah. You don't like pike, buddy? Get, get the, the hook yeah. Yeah, I'll batter you. That'd be a good thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I've never done that before, but lesson learned. That's what you want. Mm. All right, well, we'll get back to you guys. All right, step one, got the hook cut. Step two, see it? She went deep. She must have went all the way through at one point. All right, well, I'm not really sure how this trick works, but I believe we wrap braid around the hook a whole bunch of times. All right. We got all the hooks off. 
And I think we're gonna have Buddy Yank. I just don't know if there's a way out of this. Oh, there he is. <laughs> God, you better yank hard. Don't tell me and do it. Oh! Yeah! That doesn't hurt, actually. Let's go! Screw that pike, dude! God! Dang! Alright, we're back in business. Woo! That's the way to do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not scared of that now. Huh. Well, that's first for me, guys. <sighs> I'm gonna put this in the garbage can. We'll take a look at it later. Hopefully we'll uh, remember that one. Lesson learned. Don't grab a fish with your jerk bait. I think I'm gonna get some pliers out. There's still current underneath of it. All right, careful now. Pliers, who uses pliers? Oh wait, this guy uses pliers now. All right, little guy. God, it feels so big in the current, dude. These eddies are loaded. Gotta get up in that eddy, too. These eddies always have, like, five small ones in them. That's a nice one, too. Yeah, you can try it. Were you on 10 there or no? Dude, if you could spot lock right here, that'd be nuts. All right, this thing's just gonna have to get boat flipped in, cause. I don't know. Lock is drying pretty hard. There we go. Cut that one on a bass jig. You can see the current is absolutely ripping through here, but you see way up in these little pockets, these smallies absolutely love to sit. It, but. This guy go. See you later. I reckon it's yogurt time, baby. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. Something. I, I like it to spot lock when I'm fighting fish. That don't matter for you. 
Alright. Yeah, it's not bad. Alright. Another one. Alright, little midday update. We are at the halfway point and we are catching some nice fish. Not a lot. The bite's been definitely a little bit different. Um, throwing some jerk baits has been producing some bass jigs. Haven't caught anything on Sankos yet. And then Brock's been using a square bill the whole time. So we went through kind of the shallow part of the river. Now it starts getting a little bit deeper. So hopefully it's going to pick up a little bit and uh, we can catch some more smallies. Shall we? We shall. Let's do it. Ah. Yeah. Maybe I'll throw a Sanko under it. I guarantee you there's one sitting right up in here. I think I'm beat up. Thing is gross. Oh, he got propped. Oh. Dude, he's just cruising up river. Right, because it's tiny. That's the one I catch on a spinnerbait. Yeah. All right, I don't catch on behind this rock. All right, back to the jerk bait. Dude, there's a smallie with it. Yeah, and none of them are in my fingers. That was awesome. I don't know why the pike hit it, not the freaking smallie, but you know, whatever. I don't think so. It was like right in the dead center. Gave me a little freaking pike. Right, well, I put the GoPro down and we started catching a few fish. So, figured might as well end her on this guy here. Not a bad one. Well, that is going to be the last smallmouth of the trip on film. We got about. I don't know, another mile or so left, but we're gonna throw everything down, probably just cruise on out. Hit a few spots on the way down. All in all, it was a super good day out here. As you can see, it's sun's up, middle of the day. It's slowed down a little bit since this morning, but we definitely got some nice fish. A lot of smaller ones too, so it's kind of hit and miss. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll catch you guys on the next one.